Here's a tip on an alternative method to be able to manipulate your reference views. Select your references dialog box and once your reference view is highlighted, if you happen to have your highlight mode set to highlight, change it to boundaries. This way you can see the edge of the reference view. Now if you weren't to use this new method, you would have to use the move and the clip boundary tool in order to define a new clip boundary or, or to move your reference view around. But by selecting boundaries, you can actually just use your element selection tool to just drag the boundary anywhere you want. So you can quickly move your reference view anywhere you want to. Now once your boundary is selected, if you look at your element selection tool and you see that this button is depressed, that means that the handles have been disabled. Click on it to enable the handles and now you can click and drag your handles to change the amount of your reference that you can see. So very quickly you can not only move your reference attachment around but you can also change the clip volume just by dragging the handles.